biblical prophecy speaking, the prophets have always been amongst you. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Yahweh, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to my elders, a great millstone, taught me the truth of the Spirit. Sing an honor to the Allah. Peace and blessed to the one third, and confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Isaiah 13 and 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts must with the hosts of the battle. Notice in that verse, Isaiah 13 and 4, it says, A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations. Hence, in this article here from All Israel Times, it says, Axis of Ezekiel 38 with a question mark. Turkish President Erdogan calls for Russia, Iran, Turkey, Syria alliance against Israel. Now, when you're talking about Meshach and Tubal, Gog and Magog, and going into Ezekiel about the Lord putting the hooks back in their jaws and them going back to their USSR days, that's biblical prophecy. And I see what's happening is you can't refute what's going on if you know what's going on. Because the Lord said, first and foremost, I apologize. Life been shaky as of lately, but I'm, you know, spirit, spirit is keeping me together. But um, when you're talking about Ezekiel, this right here goes to show you the authenticity of the Bible itself. You can't make this stuff up. We're talking about all the murdering and killing that's been going on at the hands of uh, um, the, the state, the, the 1948ers, right? The Baffler Declaration people, you know what I mean? That's in our land right now. And this is going to, this is right here is what's going to change the entire land, the entire game plan for all the heathen nations because... Remember, it says in Isaiah 13, it says the Lord of hosts mustereth, mustereth the battle. All right. Let's see that. The word muster, mustereth, a pequod, the strong definition. It says to visit with friendly or hostile intent. You just say that. We can just leave it at that. It also says by analogy to oversee, muster, charge. You know that's someone. You know how a general will say charge, and the and the and the army will go on on their mission, right, to overtake the enemy or to oversee, like a shepherd over a flock. So it says to muster the battle. Remember, life is a movie, and Earth is the stage. It's a quote, roughly destroyed it, but nonetheless, you understand. And the Lord, he is the puppet master. We're all just the puppets. You got to understand. This right here is, is the Lord's will. This is something you can't refute. No matter, no matter what people may say, think, or feel about us, at the end of the day, it's thus saith the Lord. And we don't give a damn how you feel. All right? Because remember, matter of fact, let's just get it. I was just there in Ezekiel. Let's go back. This is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 5. Matter of fact, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, who? So-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, the Israelites. And thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord God. The same book they can pick up and read. These events are occurring today. And Martin Day Christianity is on the plank, getting ready to jump into the shock infested it was. Because you people are going to have to give an account for all this, all of this that's happening. Prosperity doctrine ain't working no more. Prophecy is what's in effect. Ezekiel 2 and 5. And they, whether they were here or whether they will for or bear, for they are a rebellious house, Yet shall I know that there have been a prophet among them. 
a prophet among the people. Yes, we are the prophets. What did John the Baptist say? What? He said, what you you out to the wilderness to see? A man in gay clothing? I'm mean, sorry, in soft clothing? Soft raiment? No, I mean, he was out there in camel's hair. Thomas Sackcloth. So when you're looking at the prophets, you're not, you're thinking about a Catholic priest with the exterior appearance, right? That attire. You want somebody that's draped up in fine linen and walking slowly and no. We're in sackcloth. We're in times of mourning. Also remember, all the Israelite groups outside of GMS, what they say about GMS? El Apostle the Heart said it earlier, because that's how I got this article. GMS going to the prophecies. Will the Lord God do with nothing but he revealeth his secrets to his servants, the prophets? Yeah, wouldn't you want to know the secrets of the Lord if you were chosen vessel? Right. And the in the secrets of the Lord are given to who? The prophets. Because the highest tier on earth of any man is the prophet. Because that's what the Lord is dealing with. Hearken, Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. The Lord says he speak by the mouth of the prophets. He multiplied visions. None of this is a mistake. This is true. This is happening. You see, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. In order for the kingdom of heaven to come into fruition, Esau is going to have to be taken down. So you how shall I going to come back and take all the crowns? You see, Yahusha is coming back on that horse. Salakia. Revelation 19, 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. He makes war and righteousness, and he judge. His eyes were as flames of fire, and on his head were many crowns. To take the crown of a king is mean that he has been dethroned. That'll be the that will be the Lord destroying and taking the power of all the heathen nations, like it says in Second Edges, the thirteenth chapter. They were scared, but yet there's fight. I.e., going back to the quote unquote alien invasion. If there was a foreign force to come in, or I think it was Reagan who said it. Some say extend there was a foreign force to come in. Will all of us not put our differences to side and band together? I'm gonna have to do a video on that. But that's that's gonna be another prophecy that's gonna be a part of this. Nonetheless, Revelation 19 and 13, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. You know what that verse also remind me of? Who is this with dyed garments from Basra? <laughs> he who treadeth the wine press alone. Notice it said that no man, he would buy, he said he has many crowns. I'm sorry, I apologize. Verse 12, continuation. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. I apologize. And we know that name now. So like you, mm. Policy had to be fulfilled. Yeah, we had to have to fall away first, but now we know the name because there's no other name under heaven. That man must be saved. So why you actually say they don't know the name until we get to the kingdom of heaven? That don't make sense. It's like you get your, your insurance plan will kick in once you get into the accident. Then we give you the insurance policy. No, it's like I need salvation. I need to know the name before the destruction comes. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, this is another example, man. The Lord is ruling throughout the earth, and this right here is another prophecy that's going to come to pass. This is going to cause all nations to come down to a valley of Jehoshaphat, and the Lord's going to have it to where they all want to hate the whore, which is the uh, NATO, EU, and that America, the mystery whore, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed. The America will turn into that lake of fire underneath the sea of glass written of in the book of Revelation. That this is the harlot of harlots. 
nonetheless, I just want to touch on this because the Elder Pastor Hart brought it up, and I thought this is very vital and important. So with that being said, pray you as at five fed, stay in spirit, no fear, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing. Stay humble, remain diligent. Pour my shit Allah, my flubber ball, shalom.